What's going on guys? January 26, 2014 is tomorrow. Tomorrow night, my personal favorite pay-per-view of the year, WWE Royal Rumble. Now I've been getting a, a couple mentions over on Twitter asking me what are my predictions. Uh, and I promised you this video, my 2014 WWE Royal Rumble predictions. I'm hyped guys, to say the least, I'm very hyped. Uh, WWE Royal Rumble is my personal favorite pay-per-view of the year, uh, mostly because of the 30-man WWE Royal Rumble match. I just love the, uh, the excitement and the mystery of who's going to come out next. I love mysteries. Uh, I love being, ex like, uh, like, shocked. Uh, shocked who's going to come out, shocked what music hits, what entrance music hits. Uh, when the but when uh, the countdown goes from ten and the buzzer dings, uh, I want to know. I want to be surprised who comes out. Um, speaking of Royal Rumble, actually last night I had a dream that it was the Royal Rumble and uh, that every single person was not a was not a surprise mystery entrant a return. Uh, not speaking of returns, this is a prediction video, but uh, hopefully tomorrow I will have. Uh, some possibilities to return uh, in the Royal Rumble. I'll hopefully have that video up for you guys tomorrow. Uh, but as I said, predictions video. Uh, the first match, kickoff match, will be the New Age Outlaws, bi uh, Badass Billy Gunn and Jesse James Road Dog going up against the Brotherhood of Cody Rhodes and Goldust. Uh, now, Goldust's been saying on Twitter that he doesn't have any interest in fighting his brother again. Uh, that could be just be a twist that the Brotherhood break up very soon and then have a feud over at WrestleMania. Uh, will it happen tomorrow? Especially since it's on the kickoff show, I'll say no. Um, maybe if it was on the main card, the main show, uh, possibly uh, they would break up. But not enough people watch the pre-show, let alone buy the pay-per-view, unless they're a good fan. I mean, the average fan probably won't buy the pay-per-view. Uh, let alone watch the kickoff show. Um, they'll probably just go on the app or go on the website. Uh, but I doubt that, uh, that they'll break up tomorrow. Uh, we have another match. Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt. Good meets evil. Uh, Daniel Bryan left the Wyatt family just a couple weeks ago in the steel cage match. Bray Wyatt trying to get redemption, trying to get revenge. Uh, but Daniel Bryan, I don't see him losing at the Royal Rumble. Uh, now in an interview with Daniel Bryan over in the week over in Pittsburgh, I believe, uh, the location for the 2014 Royal Rumble, Daniel Bryan uh, was asked what, what are his thoughts on not being in the Royal Rumble and if that is in fact true. Uh, Daniel Bryan said he is not in the match. He's trying to get in it, but as of right now, uh, as of right then, actually, he was not in the match. So uh, things could change in WWE, as I've said multiple times. Things change within WWE the last minute. There could be a surprise entrant in the uh, Royal Rumble tomorrow, and then they should, they could, uh, they could take him out. So uh, we'll see about Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? Uh, well, if Daniel Bryan isn't in the Royal Rumble match, you could check a previous video. Uh, if he's not in it, obviously, WWE had no plans of him winning, so uh, nothing bad there. We have Big Show versus Brock Lesnar. Now, uh, <clears throat> originally I would like to see Brock Lesnar versus Big Show break the ring, then I realized it was Royal Rumble and the 30-man match is the last match of the night, therefore they can't break the ring. So, it might not be that exciting. Uh, and it is a normal match, I believe. Yeah, it's a normal match. Uh, there's, there's disqualification, so, uh, probably won't be the best of matches, but I think Brock Lesnar should scrap it up. I don't see why Big Show would win, uh, especially with Brock Lesnar's schedule. Uh, but Big Show could possibly win. I mean, look up, look back on New Year's Eve, he was in a diaper. I mean, uh, those guys usually win every week. Um, but, uh, let's see. Next up we have WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, the championship match between Randy Orton and John Cena as Randy Orton attacked John Cena's dad. Uh, two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, then last week on Monday Night Raw, John Cena and Randy Orton battled in the crowd to, uh, to cap off the evening of Monday Night Raw. 
Now, uh, Daniel, uh, John Cena versus Randy Orton, I mean, the title changed at Royal Rumble and then again at the Elimination Chamber last year, I believe I read, or it was Royal Rumble and then changing at WrestleMania. Um, <clears throat> let's see, we have, uh, we have John Cena versus Randy Orton, Randy Orton, the first and only WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, this could go t t two ways. I mean, Randy Orton's been battling the corporate, the COOs of the WWE. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what goes on. Um, it's going to be interesting, guys. But uh, this is a pretty much toss-up match. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Cena win. But then all you internet fans would go crazy and riot and whatnot. But uh, let's see what goes on. And uh, cap off the night. My favorite match of the year going to be the most exciting match of the night hopefully uh we have the 30 man wwe royal rumble match itself 30 men one ring coming in at different intervals to count down from 10 the music hits it's a surprise uh we do know one we do know who the first entrant of the wwe royal rumble will be and that man is cm punk uh kane over on monday night raw announced that cm punk would be the number one entrant they, people won before from number one. People also won from number two. Now, uh, from exciting, let's see what Kofi Kingston could do. The last couple years, he did something exciting. Uh, before that, it was John Morrison. John Morrison obviously isn't with the company anymore. Will he be a surprise entrant? He was in talks last year. Uh, I mean, I don't know about this year if he will be a surprise entrant. Hopefully. Uh, also, some talks of Shelton Benjamin. Uh, I mean, he took some time off from the indie scene. Uh, Jake the Snake's been in talks, but I'm going to go see him tonight. Actually, I'm going to go see Jake the Snake at an indie show tonight. Stay tuned for videos for that. Uh, Jake the Snake, SoCal Val over from TNA, uh, Matt Stryker, uh, Kenny Dykstra, if you guys remember him from Spirit Squad, Ken Doan, uh, who else is going to be there? A couple of indie guys. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be pretty sweet. But Jake the Snake, I mean, it's in New Jersey. So, I mean, obviously you could go to Pittsburgh. It's just about uh five hours away i believe um but uh we'll see what goes on guys uh let's see guys i'm just i'm pretty amped as you could hear but uh let's see uh kevin nash obviously sheamus chris jericho i'd personally love to see evan Bourne back in the wwe huge underrated star but we'll see what goes on guys 2014 wwe royal rumble